This is amazing. What a transformation. I love these floors. Was it really hard? <laughs> they look so good. Hey guys, it's Shelby and Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. So our last project upload was a full bathroom transformation. I ripped out a tub, tile, replaced plumbing fixtures, had lots of subcontractors, lots of construction. So I thought it'd be fun to follow that with another bathroom transformation using only one ingredient, which is the power of paint. Yes. I want to start off this video by thanking our sponsor, Rust-Oleum. They have provided two amazing products that we have yeah. used to completely, I mean, y'all, these before and afters. They're, they're going to shock you. Yeah. Let's talk about the befores. This bathroom wasn't horrible. No, it was just builder grade. It was, uh, this is a, not a custom home. It was builder grade. It was a little boring and needed a little pizzazz. Yeah. Yeah. So just beige tile, white cabinets, gray walls, no character, nothing special. So not that there's anything wrong with that. If you're into that, we just love character, character and lots of fun design elements. So yes. we wanted to do that on a budget. This is a upstairs bathroom at your house, right? It's not your primary. No, my master bathroom will be a major blowout and that's yeah. my last big hurrah on my list. So we needed to save up here. Yeah. So the first step to this project, or the first thing we did, was we painted the floors. If you have yeah. followed us for a little bit, you know we've painted floors before. We have. This is not our first go around, and we've, we are using the same exact product that we have used three times. Did you know we've used it three times? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we used it in another bathroom upstairs in mom's house, and we did just a solid color, and it was really pretty because we used some nice wallpaper, some farm molding, so it just get, it just needed something more simple. This bathroom, it's just uh, pretty plain and we wanted to give it some pizzazz. Yes. So we added a stencil. Yes, so I know that the biggest question is going to be, is it holding up in your other bathroom? It's totally holding up. And my son lived up here and he's rough on things, so, and the dogs. Yeah, a college boy and dogs tile is perfect no scratches no chips like mom said we are mixing this project up same project we've done but we're using a stencil and I can tell you it did work out I was a little right. afraid I wasn't sure it was gonna work out were you I wasn't scared but you were doing it <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you do is you clean your floors we use Craig cutter we make sure there's no dog hair grout you know crumbs all the random things that mm -hmm. could be on a bathroom floor that you don't want to seal in the floor. Right. Got rid of all of that and then did the first coat. Mom can tell you this is honestly just doing one solid color is the easiest DIY project we've ever done in the history of all. Oh it is, yeah. So sure. you the this paint gets really great coverage. You don't have to have amazing skills. It like self levels. I didn't oh, yeah. you don't see brush strokes, paint you know, roll. Uh, we did use a uh, foam roller, so right. that's a smoother, you know, option. But it's still, I mean, mm -hmm. really clean, easy. So if you're a level one DIYer, you can stop there, and it will be extremely impactful. But if you are a level two and you'd like to move on up with us, mm -hmm. mom didn't want to do this with me. I'm, I'm just not so much the DIYer as you are. Well, I You're think... getting very good at the DIYs, but this was a um, level two, but a very forgiving stencil. Yeah. So yeah, so I chose a stencil. We really intentionally chose our stencil. Right. So I always like to dive down the YouTube hole before I start a project, which maybe that's what you're doing. That's why you're on this video. And I saw a lot of stencils, and I saw some that looked really easy and some that looked really challenging. I know my patience level. I might be leveling up in DIY, but I have not leveled up in my patience, <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm working on it. But I knew something that was really forgiving that if I wanted to kind of go faster, yeah. that would be a good option. So we chose this kind of diamond shape. I will also link some others that I feel like are forgiving. Something that's a little less busy and something that looks good like it would right. be hand painted. Like 
Yeah. I kind of think that concrete cement tile look like you have in your downstairs right. powder bath. Honestly, this is like a similar look. Very similar. So mm -hmm. I will link those below. Choose if you're going to do this. I mean, just heed my warning. Take a really easy, forgiving stencil. Anyways, this is a great one. And I would say the secret sauce to applying the stencil is very thin coats of paint. So yeah. when I applied it to my foam roller, I almost, it almost looked like there was no paint on there. And very thin, I, I mean, I really only did one. Right. I thought it was gonna look splotchy when I went over, but it really covered really great, it looked really great, and it dried really great. So yeah. that just makes sure that it doesn't bleed out of your stencil. It, the lines look really crisp, clean, and it makes it to where you don't have mess, messy globs to clean up. Right. I staggered my application, so I would do every other tile, and then I would fill in when they dried. The great thing is when you do thin coats, then the paint dries, and you're good to move on to the next thing. Where it gets dicey, and where I was kind of losing my patience, was when I had to start cutting the stencils to go in these like nooks and crannies against the wall, against the vanity, against the toilet. Mm -hmm. That was where I was, calm down, you can do this, slow down. Yeah. So I cut it and I started against the wall. That was honestly not that challenging, but I was strategic with the, the stencil that I cut for against the wall. I just cut that down a little bit more and uh, stenciled the tiles against the vanity. So you will need more than one stencil just because you will cut them down. I used three and I cut all three of them into multiple configurations multiple times. So you did the main part of the floor first. And that will get your, your confidence up. Right. And that is a technique even when you tile something, you start from the center and work your way out. That oh, way it? you have, yeah. See, I'm, I should start applying tile. <laughs> <laughs> Level three. <laughs> That's good to know, I didn't know that. So, once everything was down um, in those main areas, I did the toilet. Around the toilet was where it got really dicey, but I just slowed down. I literally had those last three tiles and I went home to just take a break. And I came yeah. back the next day to to take it on. So it, Did you have a glass of wine? You went home, had a glass yeah, of wine. Yeah, just decompressed. <laughs> and then and then I came, and it literally took me like 15 minutes when yeah. I came back over. Yeah. So take your time. In the very back of the toilet, there was teeny tiny, I mean slivers of tile, and I literally just made the stencil, uh, the pattern continue with tape. I didn't even cut the stencil okay. at that point, just because it was so tiny. And it honestly, it it just needed a little bit of paint on it to not look strange. So that was something I did. You can kind of work it out depending on your stencil and the shape of your bathroom. The because that might not apply to you. The last step to this project is sealing the floors. Rust-Oleum makes a matte sealer and a semi-gloss sealer. I decided to go with the semi-gloss in this room. I don't, I think they both look great. So yeah, this is what makes it durable. This is what makes it hold up. It literally functions like a normal floor once the sealer is down. Right, we use any cleaning product we use on our other tile pine, lemon, yeah. cleaners. We just avoid abrasive cleaners, so don't do like right. anything that's scratchy or like um, like a comet or something like that. Right. I would avoid that. But anything else you can use and clean it like normal. So the next thing I did to this bathroom was I painted the vanity. So this vanity is pretty big. It's like a linen cabinet vanity. It was white, which I mean, we normally paint, we would normally be painting the vanity white. Right. But we want to do something fun. When we were going back and forth on the paint color, we decided to do a grayish. You see all the cool kids on Instagram and YouTube and Pinterest, they're doing that mushroom color. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a variation of that. Right, I love it. Yeah, it looks so, awesome. So, so 
cool. It's a versatile color, it's warm, it's cozy, and I feel like it goes with the boho feel that right. we're launching into. So, I have never used this kit before, this is my first time, but I will tell you what I love about it is it comes in a kit. If you are a level one DIYer, this is great because you don't have to make 18 runs to Home Depot, watch 900 videos, it's literally all their instructions. So, I started by cleaning the cabinets. I used a, the deglosser that comes in the kit and used a scrubby pad that also comes in the kit and just wiped them down. Then I used a rag and wet it so that there was no more deglosser on the cabinets. I wanted to make sure that I didn't paint with that product on there and then the the paint not stay on really well so made sure that was completely off and I actually just went home and waited till the next day but I will say it does look like a pro it looks like someone sprayed these cabinets yeah you would not be able to tell well yeah so the next coat is painting and I would say that is what mom was saying is it looks like it's sprayed I'm actually really surprised how little my brush strokes show. The paint is thin enough to get in the crevices of the cabinet, but not so thin that you struggle with runs and those type of things that you would typically struggle with with a thinner paint. So I love the consistency, which is probably why it's not streaky. So once that first coat was on, I let it dry and I did a second coat. The second coat is where the magic happened. I was the coverage was perfect. So the first coat, I wasn't worried. I just, it didn't look as clean. Mm -hmm. The second coat, that, wow. Yeah, that was it's the first. It's amazing. The last step to this project is the top coat that adds that durability to the project, which is what we want. You don't want to do it. just looks amazing. Yeah. You don't want to do all that work and then it just chips and looks bad. So, mm -hmm. Final steps to the whole project is to accessorize. Yes, chose some um, funky little knobs in gray yeah. and ceramic, and they're so cute. Yeah. And then I didn't know what the finished product would look like, but I did help choosing the accessories. Some of them I had already, Yeah. because we were going boho in here. Um, but I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked by we, the transformation. <laughs> Seriously. We, we shopped some of her house, pulled some stuff. You had had this mirror that you purchased a while back for right. this project. Once it all came together, honestly, I knew it was going to look good, yeah. but I didn't know it was going to look this good. No, I'm, I'm amazed. I am, we're both one of those, uh, or we're both the type of people where we really value DIY. We love getting our hands dirty. We love investing in our homes, time, and whatever to make it beautiful, but we don't want it to look DIY. That type right. of DIY is not something that we- Which is why I don't attempt as many DIY projects as Shelby does. It's not because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I just like a pro look. Yes, and so I feel like you get the pro look here for sure. I also love that this bathroom is right off Quinn's big girl room. If you've never watched that video before, we did, um, my daughter at the time was like a couple months old and mom made her a big girl room. <laughs> <laughs> Just a room that she could play in and use long term was really the focus there. And you know it goes by quick, so she's already in her big girl room. Yeah, she does use it quite a bit. But that has a boho feel and this totally transitions into that so well. So, mm -hmm. I love the look, I love the feel, I love... I love everything about it. So, yeah. thank you again Rust-Oleum. We, I mean, are we gonna say it again? We love it. <laughs> yeah, it's we, amazing. We love how it turned out. These products, we cannot recommend them enough. Like I said, the floor paint, this is literally our third time right. using it and I'm probably yeah. gonna use it again. So, we'll just keep trucking until we have no ugly tile in the world. Right. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this, guys. <laughs> Let's destroy the ugly, ugly tile. tile. Yes. <laughs> That's our mission in life. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you. Lots of bathroom inspiration over here. Mm -hmm. um, but like and subscribe and share this with all your friends. We've got all the links for you to be able to do this at home. Yep. And, and watch Shelby's prior video, yeah. which is amazing transformation as well. Yeah. So yeah. have a great day guys. Bye. Bye.